this is not a team. I hate coming here. I'll be honest. I can't wait to move my own team. Because my team's going to have testicle fortitude. Balls. Balls. That's what my team's going to have. You don't have no balls. Even when you come on, you've got assist. Yeah? You don't do no fucking work, though, man. And you're, you're trying to give us choices. you got a lot to learn. you got to develop. Because you can drink with us. I mean, fuck all, man. Why? Because I work. I'm on it. This is what I show. I live by my heart. Because I'm really from ends. I'm not a pussy. Training. Because you know what? When you go to your bedroom, this is what you say. Oh, I'm not playing for Happy Rick. Step six. Oh, Happy Rick. That club. That club. Yeah, the media shit. And, and Top Boy and this. That's what they say. Yeah, and you be like, yeah, man, yeah, man. What the fuck does that mean if you don't go out and perform? Some of you might, I know you don't even want to be here next season because of me. Good! Good! I love it. You know why? Because that means you can't have It's the first game since Ernest's savage assessment of the boys' performance and today they travel away to Wivenhoe FC who are below them in the league and play out in the Colchester area. New boy Steve travels with me. He was released from Millwall and today we're given a platform to showcase his talent. Yeah. What you 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 went to Millwall what, age eight, right? Yeah, I was there from under eight. Did you get scouted? Well, how did you get scouted? Um so I was at Chelsea Development Centre. Yeah. And then I was playing for pre runners, then this man just brought me to Charlton and Millwall. So after my second training session at Millwall they just they just took me before I went to Charlton and Chelsea. It was quick playing games. So that first session? Yeah, like second one, it was the second one. Okay. Yeah, we just went to that one because it was close as well. So, so how was how, how that? Because you've got a lot of young boys who want to get to an academy. How is it that when you're actually playing for the team, or what's the feeling? Oh, the feeling is good, but like, right now, now I value how, how it was. But back then, I didn't really value how much it meant to be in the academy. Not to say that, not to say that academy is everything, but when you're there, you understand that like, how football is you mm -hmm. more. You, you, you enjoy it more as well when you're playing. And you just, you just improve better, literally. So you get more game time, you get more playing time. So academy, I would just say, it's, it's definitely better. And you got the England call out, how was that? Uh, I, I was buzzing, like, I didn't expect it as well. Did you, did you actually get to play? No, I just done the training. Okay, so it was just basically, there wasn't no match? No, nah, no match. Either. Okay. Yeah, it was the camp, so that's when the, the first call out was for the under 15. Yeah. Yeah, so it was, it was good. Fine. I didn't I didn't expect it to come. I was just playing and then it just came one day. Yeah, I had a meeting and said that hey, we liked it. Well, it's only now that I value all this stuff. At the time I just thought okay, it just happened. Did, did you did you was you did you have a bit of an ego though? You're like, yeah, yeah, I made no, it. Yeah, I thought that I made it. I thought I thought at this time my A team I'll be playing for for Real Madrid. That's yeah. what I thought at the time. I didn't think I had to work super hard because I thought I was naturally gifted, but like I said now is when I value it. Well, that's, a, that's a big lesson to young people out there, man. You might be at the academy, but you have to work even harder. You have to, you have to be the best at the academy, then you have to be the best in the youth team, then you have to be like the best. Then just to get into the first team squad, you have to get, like, it's crazy. It's crazy. Yeah. The bad thing is that if you was the, um, the best before, mm. they're, they're, they're not the ones that are shining today. It was the ones that was, wasn't the ones that people were speaking about. It was the mm. least expected. They're the ones that got the professional contracts. The ones that didn't get the scholar early. Mm. They're the ones that the ones that got scholar early. They're not even they're not even the main players today. So mm. yeah, it's about timing. Yeah, and, and, and like I said, in terms of you, like from what I've heard, at 15 years old, you were one of the best players in the country. Everyone was after you. So like I said, the journey's not over. The journey's not over. Today is the day we start rebuilding yeah. and, and, and starting off from scratch, man. So. It's not even me so much about your performance or even the team's performance. It's about you just getting the feeling of loving or playing football again, giving yourself a platform, and then let's work to get you out of this club because I would love to keep your hand in your go see, but 
that would be me being selfish and doing you a disservice. You don't, you don't deserve to be here. You need to be higher up. So let's work, man. Let's work. We moved on from that. Yeah? Let's concentrate on this game. We need leadership, Marion. Right? You've been at this club since you were seventeen. You're now what? Twenty three. Twenty two to five years you've been here. Right? So leadership, leadership. Right? I think you're the oldest player on the pitch today. But right? at twenty two, which shows, right? They've got a lot of men out there, right? They're gonna be physical, but what they are gonna be slow, right? Their setup back is bigger than me. Right? So utilize those balls in behind, right? Go out and perform. Fight for it. That's through the skill that we've got. Yeah? yeah. Well I've told you already where the where's the where's the weakness for them? Right. Out wide. Get it out to win your Seb, Sergi be direct. Provide provide Matty get in the box. Yeah? Stick to plan. Run. Hit your KMs. Run, press two yards forward, two yards. You hear that? Yeah, two yards forward, two yards. Yes. There were slight camera issues in the first half, and some of the footage came out overexposed. Uh, the score is at the moment nil nil, moving over the corner. It's clear the baby a Hackney, and then now on the break, Sergi so passes the ball out to Seb. Dribbles down, comes inside, finds it to Matty F. Matty F plays it out wide to Josh, who's making his first start for the club. He normally comes off the bench, he cuts in bro there, plays it to Matty, oh Matty should have scored there. That should have been 1-0. But a good positive start by Hetherick. He was coming there, oh Benjamin's kicked it, strike good save. Oh it's a rebound and it's 1-0 with a no. Bad start by the ball. That came against the run and play, but here comes Seb again. Ooh, he cuts his man. Strike. Finish. Josh with a shot. Force of surgery. Yeah, Great so goal. On. Great goal. We're going to do well to keep on hold of Seb this next season because he's proven to be one tricky player, creating a lot of our chances. With an over free kick, shot, safe comfortably there by Fernando, who's in goal today in the absence of uh, Bart. Fernando throws it, it's picked up there. That's a free kick. No, ref doesn't call a free kick. It goes it. Amazing goal, but that was a free kick. That was absolutely a free kick. The ref didn't give it. Absolutely ridiculous. And it's now 2 1 after Hanley done so well to get back into the game. The ball's back out to Seb now. What can he do? Takes his man. And it goes out for a corner kick. Honestly, the boys are also calling for a handball there. The ref's been really terrible this half. Not giving Hackney Wick any decisions. I mean, that was a blatant free kick on our player, which resulted in them getting a goal. And now there was a blatant handball, and the ref hasn't given it. Anyway, corner to Hackney Wick. What can they produce here? There's a bit of argy bargy in the box. The referee runs over. What's going on here now? The Wivenau players are claiming they're claiming something here. I'm not sure what's happened. The ref's telling them all to go away. He goes to speak to his linesman. Now, what did the linesman see? They call over Captain Kenneth along with Josh. There are normally two Joshes. This is Josh at the Ojo. Who's making his first start for the club since being promoted to the first team? And he's got a red card. Red card, Hackney are down to 10 men. Oh, shit, oh, 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 oh. Hey, Joshua, get off the beat! 
Do you understand? Yeah? When we're attacking, you have to come in narrow, really narrow, to support Matty. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. Got to do a job for the team. Yeah? yeah? So you have to run up and down, press. When that ball comes, it's got to stick. Yeah. Do you understand? Yeah. For everyone watching, it's very, very simple. Let's just get to work, man. Fuck everything else, get to work. Yeah? Daniel, finally you started in the game, start to take responsibility and come and make some headers. Don't start letting midfielders come and mark. Yeah, mark your striker. There's no other striker behind the mark him. Do you understand? Because now we're done to him and you've got to do it. 100%. Cool. Back forward there. Nothing really changes. Yeah? Here. The benefit with you two now. The benefit with you two now is this, yeah? When you get the ball here, or here, you lot can dribble in. There's 25 minutes left in the game and something needs to give. Hackney need to make the right changes. Oh, come. No. Oi, oi, he's got two there. Where's he's got two there? Where's he's got two there? Where's he has two there? Drop, drop, for that goal. Thank you. Now here's a chance for Steve Goldie, the player from Millwall, to come off the bench and try to make a difference on his debut. He, along with Adam Shinetti, who's on loan from Whitham, need to try and help us claw something back in this game. He gets on the ball, beats his man. Beats his man again, looks really lively here. Kenneth plays it out to Steve again. Steve, step over, beats his man. One will be one again. Strikes. What a goal. What a strike. The Hackney Wick bench goal, crazy. What a strike. You couldn't have written a better script. This is a Hollywood film. You couldn't have written a better script. The talk before the game. And he comes off the bench and scores a worldy, a peach of a goal. And Hackney are back in it, but with 10 minutes, it'll be a struggle. But can they get the winner? And the game had been a tight affair, and now it's 2 2. Now, this is the last minute of the game. Alex comes on, he plays the ball through to Steve. Oh my god, can he get the winner here? Can he square it? What can Steve do? He beats his man again. Oh, keepers pushes out wide. And that's the final kick of the game. We could have just won it for the team there. He went for glory. But it's a point away from going home. So we'll take that. Did with them, the referee was horrendous. This one's going off. Horrendous. I don't know who's going to do it. The referee was absolutely horrendous today. Like, didn't give us shit, right? So we had that against us. So we had the stupidity of getting a red card that's killed us for the whole game, which meant we couldn't, we won behind. But you know what? You guys battled, you showed character, right? As Ernest would say, this this kind of fortitude, is it? Was it? Like, 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 yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. So you guys show that second half, right? It means that you care, right? It means that you wanted it, right? Of course, we had um, Fernando was injured as well, so we had so many things that was against us. But you guys went out, you got the, we didn't get the result we wanted, but we came back into the in, into the match and we could have won it in the end. Could have won it in the end. All I can say is. Well done. It's still not a great result for us because we We need to be beating teams like Wivenor if we want any chance of competing at this level. But I'll say for the effort, second half especially, well done. One thing I'll say, like um, Josh, you need to understand, right? This is men's football. It happens. It's never a feeling that oh, I've come here and wasted my time. You've not wasted your time. You've been part of the team. You've been part of the experience. 
I played football at this level and higher, right? I used to travel to Margate with a team, travel to Ashford with a team, go bloody Earns Bay, and I'm dead, waiting for doing you know, all the warm up, waiting for the manager to put me on. If you don't put me on, I had to accept it, right? So accept it, it's not gonna happen all the time. But also, when you get your chance on the pitch, show, right? There's players that come ask you who are showing, yeah? yeah? Cool. Well, you don't, you don't, you don't wanna do that to me, cool, 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 right? Because I want me inviting you back to the club. Right? You're going to be doing all that cool, cool, cool. Right? I'm telling you something. I'm giving you the price and the experience that I've lived. If you don't want to take it, it's on you. Right? You're more than welcome to join any other club. Right? Because there's more than enough players that can take your space. Right? So I'm giving you the price. So take and accept it. That's my lot for the uh, for the game. Well done, everyone. I can't Good let that in. petulant score. Don't be petulant. Don't say, oh, cool, cool. Don't cut a man off, yeah? Do you understand? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you would, I would have cut off your dad or your mum if you were talking. Instead of talking to you, I listen to your dad and your mum. So who do you think you are by cutting someone off? Okay, I'll, I'll Thank you. Yeah? Football is football. Yeah? Yeah? The, if you want me to be really harsh... No, no, no. I'm talking now. I'm talking. I want, I want to talk. How about that? I want to talk. Yeah? This is not you. It's not about you. Could not give a damn about your feelings. It's about... This is football. Everyone who experienced that level was sat on the bench. I'm not, I don't care. I get upset. I get upset when he, he brings on all five subs. Ask him. Ask Robbie. I'll be like, what are you doing? They don't have to play. Look at Seb. He was a prepared when he first gave me play two minutes. Seb goes, oh, it's cool. Because he knows. I'll sit him on the bench. At 80 level, I'll sit him on the bench. Don't care. Ask him. He was just talking about it now. They spent the whole season on the bench. Whole season. Now he starts every game. That is football. Develop. And then, if you want to be even extra harsh, yeah, you can't tell me it's justified. You can't tell me. I'm not saying you said. I'm just saying. I'm letting it out. I'm saying. So you hold it down and you do two, one or two things. Blue pill, red pill. You either say, this is long and go to someone who's going to stroke your ego. Yeah? Because that's what's hurting right now. Pride. Ego. Or number two, yeah, you say, F this, come to training, because you wasn't training on Thursday anyway, yeah, but so you come to training both Monday and Thursday on time, do the runs with everyone, and put in 100%, yeah, so that's that adri- um, issue address. Now, I don't answer this, yeah, see what the second half, one thing I cannot criticise, I'm disappointed in the result, not in the performance, you understand, yeah, good point from that is that everything I told you to do at half time, you went out there, and that's all I asked for. Playing through when you need to play through, knocking it over, running in the channels, running, running, closing down spaces, squeezing play, creating, creating chances, bravery. Yeah, he got injured, but he wanted to play for the team. Bravery, coming on Alex, f- five minutes, comes on, creates the goal. That's the attitude that I want. He came for five minutes, he comes in, boom, holds it up, Ernest said, hold it up, there you go, plays it through, almost created. See, when he, if we had scored, he would be the first person I ran to. But that takes mental strength to come on five minutes and beat in tunes in the game. Yeah? That's what I want. That's what I want. The boys make their way back to London. Another weekend completed. Another match day finish. Join us next time on We Are The Wick. But before we go, let's hear from Stephen. Steve. So we spoke before the game. Right? We talked about the history of what happened with you. Today you got back out there, just took took about took us through just being back out there playing football eleven aside. Um, it just got me reminiscent about the times where I used to play football regularly. Like I haven't played a match in a long time, so even being in the change room, the change room noise, the, the team tours, it just it made me feel alive again because I haven't had that experience in a long time. So it just made me reminisce about the time. Just the simple things like walking onto the pitch, assessing the pitch. It's been a long time since that happened, so. It brought some joy into me, like, I feel like I can build some momentum from this game right now. You know, build that build excitement and the happiness of playing football again. And, and, and to top it off, you came on yeah. and scored an absolute blinder. Yeah. A worldie from what, yeah. 35 yards or so. Like, what was going through your mind? First thing that was going through my mind, if I'm being honest, I just thank God, literally. I said thank you God for, for this moment because despite everything, despite the, the trials and tribulations, all the fails, all the all the rejections, I was able to come out and just play football and, and even to top off to score a goal. So I, I just gave it all to him literally. I mean, a great goal. But then my only 
um, slight, slight with you a little bit was that you had a chance to win it. It was four against or three against one at the end, mm. and you went for glory. Mm. What was going through your mind there? I wanted all the glory to be honest, but that's 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 like that ain't how it's supposed to be. To be honest, I just wanted all the glory. I thought I could get more, but at the same time, it's, just, it's not the same Steve Brady as before. Mm. So it, it wasn't going to happen. Now I'm thinking about it. I should have just passed the ball. Think about the team more than myself. Well, like I said, the keeper, to, to, to be fair to him, made a tremendous save. But like I said, like well done today. You, you, you're part of the team. Like I said, we don't really want you here in a, in, a, in, a, in a good sense. We want you to go and play where you belong. So we just want to introduce you to the team, get to know the players, get that feeling again to play 11 a side of football. And hopefully in the next couple of weeks, definitely for pre-season, we have you moving up the leagues again. Right? Well done, man. Well done.